Well, good evening everyone and welcome to a new Sunday live stream. We're here in Las Americas here in South Tenerife. Uh, this evening we're going to take a little walk along the Golden Mile. Uh, we're going to make our way towards some of the value restaurants. We're going to discuss restaurants as we go along as well. Just talking about prices, is there still great value with eating out over here as well? A lot of people do ask me that in the, in the um, comments and also on Messenger. Prices of restaurants creeping up, etc. We're also hopefully going to find a value restaurant and potentially meet up with someone there as well. So we'll see how we get on. We are going to be talking all things restaurants, but also just enjoying a nice sunset evening walk through Las Americas. We're starting off on the Golden Mile. Look at the sky, stunning. It has been quite a windy day today. We have got a bit of a Kalima in, so it's dry, it's dusty. It has been very windy. It's only just calmed down now with the wind. Nice little Christmas decoration out. Evening Gary, evening Vinny, how's it going? So it is still pretty warm, it's been a little bit cooler today. I've got my jacket on just because later on once it does go dark I think I will need it. Right now I'd be okay without but once the sun goes down it does go a little bit cooler especially if there's a bit of a breeze around which there is at the moment. Uh, hi Luke, hi Sharon, how's it going? Welcome along everyone. Anyone tried Flore? This is one of the restaurants that I still haven't tried that looks amazing. The theming in here is just awesome. I've still never ever tried it. It's, uh, it's proper date night vibes in there, isn't it? Anyone tried it? Let me know. Value for money as well. So a lot of the restaurants here on the Golden Mile have crept up in price a little bit. We ate in Empire recently, fantastic meal, love it in there. But it was pricey, I mean, nine euros for a bowl of soup as a starter. It's pricey, isn't it? When you consider there is still places around doing three courses for 13.95, 14.95. Savage as well, another good theme one I've never tried. And of course, Vegas Grill up there. They've kept the prices pretty much the same do like it up in there. Apologies for the flashing lights. I don't know why it comes through as uh, flashing on the camera. It's uh, certainly not flashing here in person. Uh, when you're doing a plane spotting video, hopefully sometime soon, it's just so windy at the moment. Not really possible for me. Coming over on Saturday, hope to see you. Hopefully see you around. Hi Epic Phil, how's it going? I enjoyed your trip to London, certainly did. Look at that, making great progress now, aren't they? On the Med Palace. All the doors are in, all the glass is in, everything's all painted white. Making really good progress on that. I tell you what, it doesn't half look so much better. So much better in that colour. Makes a huge difference down here. Anyone who's just tuning in, do please hit the thumbs up button on your way in. It really does help us out. So we're going to go for a bit of walk, have a bite to eat, and then probably a bit more of a walk after that if everyone's still up for it. Have a real good, real good wander around this evening. Uh, is this still going to be called the Med Palace? I believe so. I believe it's still going to, I think they'll replace the sign, but I think it's going to keep the name. Yeah, it looks a lot better, there you go, they've just switched the lights on now as well, look how smart that is. Proper jet setters, hey, gotta be, work hard. We do seven days a week, remember, so where a lot of you would take two days off a week, we bank those and then use them on little trips uh, away, it's normally how we work it out. Most people now work a five day week, we do a seven day week, bank those two days off that we should have each week and then use them on a little bit of a trip. Why not? Look at that sunset, stunning tonight. Does look a lot better, I agree Sharon, looks a lot better in that colour. The glass, the doors, spot on. Oh, I think I can smell that steakhouse up there. It smells nice, like a wood burning oven I can smell. Yeah, my buddy's enjoying the football. Thank you very much, Gary. I'm glad you're enjoying. I think it's the United-Liverpool game that's on. Enjoy. 
thanks for popping down. The bar's been busy all day today. So thank you all very much. So I think for most of you tuning in, wherever you're tuning in from, most of the places you'll be tuning in from will now be dark. We've still got some nice sunshine and uh, light here still at this hour. It's one of the things I noticed when we went back to the UK, it felt so late so early because it would go dark at like four, half four. It doesn't go dark here till about half six, so it would feel really late and then I'd look at the clock and it wouldn't be late at all. That was one of the things I noticed when I was back last week. So yeah, all the restaurants in this area are very, very popular. I will say Bianco's, Taipan, Empire, they are all very, very good and they do book up quickly. So if you're interested in doing any of those, make a reservation. But I think any in this area now are a little bit more pricey. Anything on this Golden Mile is a bit pricier. But let me know your thought, if you've been over in the last month as well, I'd like to know, did you find the restaurant still good value or did you find them a little bit more expensive now? I'm going to be showing you just how cheap you can get it very shortly in terms of three course meals and stuff. This lights up a little bit later, which is nice. Uh, not many lunchtime places. No, not particular. I think the main thing with that is staff. I know some places have even closed because they just can't get staff. They've closed down temporarily because they can't get any staff in. Uh, Mum and Dad saw you both in Starbucks today at Siam Mall. There you go, there's Ricky Hatton just arrived for an evening out. Wonder where Ricky's off to. That's, that's a couple of celebrities we've caught on our live streams the last few weeks. We had Bradley Walsh, Walsh a couple of weeks ago. Ricky, Ricky loves it over here. He's got property over here, I think. Yeah, he does enjoy it over here quite a lot. We're going to make our way to the beachfront because I think we still will catch a little bit of a sunset sky. The waves have been quite big today as well for the surfers. I have indeed got my books fizz for Christmas Day, Cherie. I might have a mad one on Christmas Day. Don't know how many cars we've got to do yet. I haven't worked out the final numbers on cars yet. But if we can get a little bit of a break from the cars. Bar isn't open. I'll, uh, I'll certainly nail a bottle of Bucks Fizz or two, I think. Seven hundred and seventeen tuned in. Do please hit the thumbs up. Anyone eating in this one? Always say I'm going to try this. This is 9.95 for an English breakfast. You can really see the difference, can't you? Once you're on this gold mile, most other places a full English is like 4.95. But later, that will be full to the brim. So it would be interesting to see if anyone's uh, done that one. Hey, yeah. If anyone's been in there, let me know your thoughts. Christmas Day fireballs. I don't know about that. I don't know about shots. Tell you what though, if you watch the Travel Day video back to Tenerife that I put out yesterday, come up with a new cocktail and I'm hooked on it. It's, um, I think I'm going to call it the uh, Up All Night, night with a K-N-I-G-H-T. And it's made with an energy drink, it's got Midori in, it's got Amaretto in, it, it's amazing. It tastes very much like a monster, but uh, yeah, naughty to have at that hour. You might end up up all night, but but it is nice. Had a prawn toasty with about five prawns. Uh, we'd love to have a few pints with you and Garvey. Not sure when Dad's back. I think it's going to be Feb time, I think, possibly. We'll see uh, Mum and Dad back over. Uh, how is the bar going for you? Absolutely fantastic, Darren. All good. Thank you very much. Uh, we don't have any eight-seaters with the car rental, only seven. No eights, unfortunately. I'll miss the fireworks on New Year's, but hey-ho. 
Uh, I'll just have to come out and watch them myself, yeah. We enjoyed the fireworks last year, last New Year's. It was a good evening that, it was a good night. For a few different reasons. Uh, but yeah, we got a spot right under the fireworks. If anyone remembers, we did a live stream right under the fireworks. Uh, booked our spot in Buddy's Bar for New Year's Eve. Fantastic, Gary, thank you very much. It's going to be a good night in there. Be a different sort of uh, New Year's Eve for us. We are going to be having a New Year's Day buffet and also a Christmas Eve buffet in the bar. So yeah, you can see it's a little bit hazy. That's the Kalima that's come in. It went away yesterday and then came back today with a vengeance with the wind. You can see it is a little bit hazy. And there we've got the bank was in there a couple of weeks ago with mum and dad. It's a very nice meal in there. But again, coming back onto the price point, it is pricey. Sat on our balcony at the Arona Gran, beautiful view. Cheers all and Merry Christmas. Have a lovely time, Paul. Thank you very much for tuning in. We'll give you a little view back down the Gold Mile. Which is my favourite little street, that, especially in the evening time. Can't beat a walk down there. And we're going to head this way to the beachfront. So what has everyone been up to today? Do let me know in the comments. A lot of you have been Christmas shopping, I imagine. Air quality hazardous again, yeah. If you've got asthma or anything like that in this sort of weather, not great. How's it going, Dawn and Melvin as well? I hope you're well. Uh, just finished binging the last Florida series. Last Florida series isn't even finished yet. There's more vlogs to come from that series. One of them will be going up this week. Tomorrow, uh, I did film a bit of a, another warning video yesterday. That'll be going out tomorrow, half past six. Make sure you watch that. Uh, some sort of dodgy stuff going on. So do make sure you tune into that one uh, tomorrow at half past six. Bit of a warning if you are coming over. So miss Las Americas at Christmas, pitch black in the UK, I know. So I, I like to bring these, that's why I started a little bit earlier this evening. I could have started it at seven, we get more viewers and things like that. But then you don't get to see, you know, daylight and this gives you all a little bit of a boost where it's dark in England. You don't want to then tune in and it's dark in Tenerife. It's nice to bring you a bit of a sunset and palm trees and things. Look at that. Stunning. So that's why we started a little bit earlier this evening. I wanted to bring a bit of a sunset bit of sunshine so starting later we do get more viewers so able to tune in but then it is dark uh, in the winter time uh, yes there is more vlogs from the series yet yeah, there's the whole travel day home and it's a couple of days left yet the next vlog for the Florida vlogs is a bit of an exclusive one uh, we're invited to a, a residential resort that you can't normally just get into so we did a full tour of that, Italy themed, it was stunning. So that's what's coming up next. Oh, that's a nice view, isn't it? We get to watch the sunset live here from Las Americas in Tenerife. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Do please hit the thumbs up button as well. Anita, thanks for tuning in. Nice to see you live. Thank you for joining me. Bit of a moment of zen. There you go. That's a nice view, that, isn't it? We called that in perfect timing, everyone. I don't know whether you like it zoomed in or zoomed out.
Yeah, again, you can see how hazy it is because normally you would see a bit of Lagomera here in the corner, but uh, not today. Nine hundred now joined us. Thank you very much for joining. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new as well. Various new different vlogs have gone on the channel this week, so do make sure you check them out. We had a new Florida vlog, London vlog, a travel day to Tenerife vlog, a uh, live couple of live streams from Tenerife. How's it going, Alan? Thank you for joining me. There you go, we timed that very nicely. Uh, there is a Kalima here at the moment. Our granddaughter, can't wait to see you again. She brought your dog a gift last time she was here. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much, Yvonne. You see the ferry going by there as well, heading towards Lagomera, I believe. Uh, current temperature is a little bit cooler today with that breeze around, so it is more 22, 23. I think once the sun goes down, it's going to feel a little bit uh, cooler. Uh, do you prefer Ryanair or EasyJet? They're both very similar, I've got to be honest. In terms of all these airlines and who's better than who, I honestly just treat them as a bus. You get on them, you sit down, you're cramped. You can have a snack or a toastie at a rip-off price. You land, you get off. I really don't see a huge difference in them. The, the EasyJet seats are just as small and tiny as the Ryanair seats. Uh, they're just as small as the Jet 2 seats. They're all the same, aren't they? You cram on, shove your bags in, sit there cramped for four hours and get off. I just see them as a flying bus now. So in terms of Ryanair, EasyJet, they're both the same. They both charge you a fortune to get your bags on board, a fortune to reserve your seat. A fortune for fast track, which isn't fast track. Uh, we'd love to, you to do a video with a day in the life of the bar and how ordering stock and things like that. I can get Laura to do that. That is uh, Laura's forte. I'm obviously still running the car rental, so Laura would be, be doing more of that stuff. But yeah, I can get Laura to do that. Right, that was a nice view of the sunset. Let's just stride on. We'll make our way into Las Americas a little bit more. But yeah, it brings on a good question that actually, while we're all tuned in. Favourite airline to fly with? Do you notice a difference between them? I don't. It's just a seat. <laughs> They're all pretty much the same. For me anyway. Do you notice a huge difference? Have you got a particular favourite? few people in the beach club, not many though, not the best weather for the beach club today. Uh, Jet 2 and others are all expensive, yeah I do find Jet 2 normally more expensive, they like to save their seats for their package holidays really. Everton 4 wins, fantastic weekend, it was indeed another good result yesterday. I caught bits of it but I was up and down to the airport. So I couldn't watch the full thing. Now see, the, the, the thing with Jet 2 is you've got to listen to Jess Glynn when you get on. So you've already got a headache for your four and a half hour flight then. Because <laughs> they play that Jess Glynn song on repeat. British Airways is the best. Uh, Air Lingus flew with them recently, but that was to Florida though. They were very good. They are all the same, I agree. I honestly don't notice any difference, really. Uh, what do you think of Gatwick North? Fantastic terminal, same as the South. I've flown from both now. South and North. Both really nice. Both loaded with all kinds. Yeah, both times out of Gatwick have been very, very good for us.
Uh, current average daily temperature, probably about 23, 24 on average in the daytime. Good to see a bit of police presence around. We discuss that in uh, tomorrow night's vlog. And that's the first one I've seen since I've been back. <laughs> Just you have any happy songs. It's, I don't mind, it's, I mean it, it was a good song until it was just on the advert every two minutes, on the plane, every, it's just that song, it's just overplayed. Uh, we've only got a thousand tuned in now, do please hit the thumbs up button. And uh, make sure you do subscribe as well. We're heading towards one of our favourite value restaurants. Hopefully going to have a little bit of a value th three course meal here just to show you what value is still available. Haven't been here for a little while either. So that's where we're heading to. Starbucks had one of those in Siam Mall this morning. Uh, what's your favourite Christmas song? Hi Eugene, it would definitely have to be uh, driving home for Christmas, I think, would uh, would be mine. Only policemen we saw were actors in Lost Chris. Well, we're going to be discussing all of this on tomorrow night's vlog, so do tune in. It's a little bit of a warning for you all. There's not many people discussing it, but I'm going to jump on and discuss it. I've always said that. People do appreciate the warnings, so we're back with another one tomorrow. He's a cute dog. He's happy out and about. Uh, please tell everyone to be vigilant. Uh, I was mugged last night on the way back to Beverly Hills Club. Wow. Well, Caroline. Tune in to tomorrow night's vlog at half six. Very sorry to hear that. I hope you are okay. But uh, yes, half past six. Don't miss it because there's things going on. Everyone's got those Tenerife rose tinted glasses on again. Tenerife's perfect. Certainly ain't. So yeah, I hope you're, uh, hope you're all right. Uh, Caroline. But yeah, you're not, unfortunately you're not the only one. Best airline I've flown with is Air Continental. Never flown with them before. I did get the new windows for the broken into cars. Yep, got those. Just got a few new locks on order now. Because they get done all the time as well. Does anyone else think we should get more of these on the island? Just think there isn't enough. We've seen, the, we've seen the odd one or two, but I think if you had one every sort of every 10 shops would be quite good, just in case you missed the first one. You've got one every sort of five or 10 shops, maybe. Maybe it's just me. I thank you all very much for tuning in. I hope you're all having a great weekend. Big, big get run up to Christmas coming up now. Ireland's going to get very busy towards the end of next week. <laughs> More, please. <laughs> ah, good little bit of banter. So we're going to head towards our little three-course value restaurant. I am very hungry. Haven't eaten yet today. 
So I am looking forward to this. A little bit of a bite to eat. Uh, when we got to the police station, it was really busy. Again, I'm not surprised. I uh, hope you enjoyed the brownies. I did indeed. Thank you very much, Caroline. Much appreciated. I'm uh, really sorry that that's happened to you. Hopefully it doesn't put you off coming to Tenerife. But uh, yes, I've done a, a whole video on it tomorrow night, half six. That will be out. That's something you all need to watch as well, that. I'm going to head up this way. So I'm going to cut away from the beachfront now. Bit of a new advert for the volcano, something a little bit different. Live the legend. Bit of a different sort of uh, advert for the volcano, that. So that's where you can book your cable car and things like that on that website. Getting people up there to do the cable car excursion. I've uh, been stressing mid-moving, so great to catch you live. How's it going, Suzanne? Thank you for joining me. A lot of you will be watching on Catch Up as well. Thank you all very much. Uh, when's your next trip to Florida? I'm really not too sure. I really don't know. I uh, hope Laura enjoyed it. Um, Mickey Mouse gifts from Mum. I think she did mention something about that. I'm sure she will have. Thank you very much. We had a lot of nice little cards and everything dropped off at the bar. It's been uh, it's been amazing. Thank you all very much. How many of you on the way over for Christmas time? Here you go, Laura's on. So we're coming up to now where uh, the Las Americas, Tandoori Hut is, Dedos, all of those. And we're going to hit a left. Can anyone guess which value restaurant we're heading to? posted on something on the group over a year ago about pickpockets trying to target my daughter because she had her phone out uh, and the amount of people that told me I was wrong was unreal uh, there is a lot of people that have these Tenerife is perfect it can do no wrong rose tinted glasses on but uh, it certainly isn't perfect and the, the, the more the higher the numbers we have over here, every single year it grows and grows and grows. We get more and more people. And it is a numbers game, so the more tourists we have, unfortunately, the more crime we have, the more pickpockets we have. We have people flying over from different countries in the winter time, specifically just to do this. Pickpocketing, robbing people, etc. People fly over just to do this. Yeah, it was a bit of a different car, that wasn't it, Thelma? I thought I was a few people saying Savoy, that's this one here. Very nice value restaurant, this one. You can get three courses in there for 11 95 So anyone asking about value restaurants, is it still cheap to eat out? You've got two different menus here as well. You've got an Oriental menu 
and you've got an international menu as well with like pizzas, steaks and things on it. Look at that, three courses, 11.95. That's like a tenner, a tenner for three courses. But it's not that one, although that is one of my favorites. It is very good, that one, but it's not that. You ain't selling it as a winter breaker, I'm just being honest. You can still come over here, have an amazing time. You shouldn't be put off coming over here, but it's, it's time for a bit of honesty as well at the same time. It's swept under the rug a lot of the time over here. Wakanda there, nice little cocktail. A little bit quiet, but then on the other side, PJ's very popular, very busy. Good atmosphere in there. David, I did indeed, thank you very much. I forgot to take a picture because I just shoveled it down, but uh, it was gorgeous. Thank you very much, I really do appreciate that. It was lovely. I was meant to take pictures and everything, and then the minute I'd finished, I remembered I hadn't. Okay, so surely some of you might have it by now. We are hopefully heading to Linares 4 for our value meal this evening. It's just a little bit further on. Hi class, how's it going? Savoy or Illily? No, you both got it wrong. We've done this one before and we really enjoyed it. We hadn't been back since so I'm bringing you back this evening. Bit of a revisit. Haven't done it for a little while. So here we go. Linares Steakhouse Pizza Pasta. Hi, are you okay? Hi, how are you? And look who's already yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Thank you very much. So here we go. We've got 12 euros 95 in here. Hi, are you okay? Okay, now go to the Jump on here. Oh, evening. Yes, can I have um, a chicken curry? Chicken curry? Okay. Yes. Mm. Can I have oh. rice and chips with a chicken curry? Hey, there you go. That was a little surprise for you. Okay. Rice and chips. Just take one. Chips? All right. Can we pay extra for chips? Can we pay extra for some chips? Yes. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Hi, are you okay? You're back on here. I live here. I'm here permanently, me. Um, can I have the ice cream? Morning, okay. David. Morning, David. Yeah. You've got, you, you got the bar. Yeah, yeah. You came over. Ah, okay. You've seen me four to five times. Yeah, no, I recognise your face. Dang, mate, yeah. You okay? Dang, yeah. What is Good it? to be back. You're flying back from Gatwick. Yes. Yeah, yeah, back from London. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. 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 Now I know what you mean. I was confused then. Um, I'll have, ice cream. I'll have a, a cream caramel, please. Okay. I better keep that because I'm going to show them. I'm going to show the viewers the menu. So, welcome everyone to our little value meal this evening. So, Linares four, three courses. I've left Lord, Laura to order for me. So, what am I having? Laura's on a work break, as you can see. The buddy's polo is on. Having spring rolls to start. Right. Then you're having chicken curry for me. Okay. Rice and chips. Good choice, okay. And then you get a cream caramel pizza. Okay, I'll go with that. So just to show you the menu here, so this is 12 95 for three courses. Again, that's close to 10, 10 quid for three courses. Can't really go wrong, can you? Fillet steak Diana, fillet steak with pepper sauce. I've gone for the chicken curry, I'm happy with that. You can have a pizza. Some good choices, isn't it? Yeah. I remember the spring rolls were good in here. I think that's what I had last time. Uh, I was in. So there you go, Laura's joined us for dinner. How oh, good's that? We'd have to time that quite well. Time that all right, didn't we? We'll have to stop to the devices for half an hour. Yeah, Laura's just going to eat and then Laura will be back to the bar. 
I told everyone about the cocktail. Oh yeah. He made us another special cocktail today. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm on live, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you are, let me spin it around. One second. Thank you to David and Maureen. David and Maureen. From Badium. From Badium. Near Burnley. Ah, okay. 20 miles from where you are in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. David and Maureen, yeah? David and Maureen. David and Maureen, how's it going? Just here, Ann and Mick. Ann and Mick. Thank you. How long are you here for this time? Well, I live here. Okay. I've been here 20 years. Right. I'm going to go for my live for 10 years. Nice. I used to live here years ago. Yeah. You're nice to be back. Yeah. You know, you know David and Maureen? They always bring you presents over. Yes, yes, I know them. Yes. Well, they're my best friends in Badium. Ah, okay. Lovely people. David and Maureen, if you're on, I'm, I'm sure. Going, I'm going over on Wednesday. Right. Stop with them for 10 days. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you get your UK Christmas fix then. Nice. Um, Glad to see you back. Thank you very much. I know. It's good to be back. Back in the sunshine and the warmth. We're going to spend Christmas Day in Siam Park. Very nice, Craig. Oh, try and get you on. Uh, we have only got one microphone because I broke the other one. I sat on it. Yeah, I did. I sat on it. Oh, hey. So I've only got one microphone now. I need to buy a new set. Uh, is the T Rock in tip top condition for a holiday in Feb for 10 days? I certainly hope so, Neil. Someone's got it out at the moment. I haven't seen that car for a while, actually. It's, uh, it's been out. Yeah, it's been out a lot. Hopefully it should be. Someone's mentioned I've got the new watch on as well. Yep. Made up with this little purchase. You've done well getting those two watches. Did. did indeed. Our Pina Clouds are amazing. I've not had anyone say they're not good yet. Someone was asking on the last stream what the best selling three cocktails are and I went with Pina Colada, Strawberry Daiquiri. Yes. And mine. Probably is yours, yeah. Pina Clouds is our top seller. Our top, top seller. But people love a Buddy's Martini as well. And then you've got to, you've got to add the new one. The Up All Night. I like that. Someone came up with that, not me. I've already um, messaged the menu people and the computer people. Yeah, we're going to be getting the menus this week as well. We wanted to nail that down before it was all printed out. Yeah. Um, love this restaurant. The lady that owns it is, is amazing. If you've been here before, Lin Air's 4. This is opposite Italy, English Rose. Uh, it's just down from Veronica's Strip. If you've been here before, let us know. We filmed this probably a year, two years ago now. Yeah. Since we've been in, and it was fantastic. So we're back again. A little twelve ninety five. Couldn't even. I can't cook at home for less than that. No. no. Two chicken breasts is that much in the shop now? Exactly. Yeah. So and this is going to be my first proper home cooked meal. Yeah. In a while. I've been last night. I finished work. I saw the evidence of last night. And I went straight to Burger King, got saw me a Burger King. Come home and ate it on the couch. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. I'm in bed dead out at this I point. I was a hungry hippo last night. I'm so dead I out at this point. Yeah, just felt like getting some Burger King because it was lovely. Loved it. it. Can't be bad, can it, Burger King? I know. Yeah, so this is Linnaeus 4. If anyone's wondering, let me show you the name because people probably won't understand how I'm saying it. There you go. Spring rolls, chicken curry, and creme caramel. Nice. Not too heavy. We had a lovely sunset. Oh, missed it. Weather's, weather's um, it's not bad, Dean. We've got a bit of a calima and a bit of winds going on Well, today. the winds calmed right down now. It was really off. bad this morning, really yeah, bad. It dropped off. It was still going this afternoon. The wind. Yeah. Here you go. We've got 1,300 people watching. 1,300! Yeah, oh my yeah. god! A lot of people saying hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's lovely. There you go. Um, <laughs> um, hello to the table behind, yeah. Anything else been going on then, Laura? What's, what's that? Oh, oh soup for quick. me. You're going to notice the speed of this as well. All Thank you very much. I've been doing, thank you, is working. Yeah, Laura's been busy, busy with the bar. Yeah. Here's Laura's tomato soup. Yeah, nice. Here's my spring rolls. Nice, small, simple. Just a job. 
This is the other thing I like about these uh, three course menus, they're not huge, you don't come out rolling down the road. No. They're just nice and... I know somebody came in the bar today and they didn't eat eating a, a Sunday roast and they were just, they come in for the, um, the cocktail dessert basically and they were just full, they said, I can't move. Let's yeah. go for a walk, try and walk it all off, yeah. The evening's are cute, aren't These are from Acrylic Addict on Instagram. I've got gorgeous ones for Christmas Day. Oh, they smell nice. Yeah. They smell lovely. They're nice, they're only small, they're not huge. Sometimes they're too big, they're not nice, are they? No, they can the get... The inside doesn't get yeah, properly, yeah. all of that. And then you get a bit full for your main then. Brilliant restaurant, spring rolls, my husband loves them. If you've been here before, let me know. Do you enjoy it? A lot of people seem to be. I think Lenardis is a chain, is it? Probably. And that's just a shame that they the same name. Could well be, but we've only ever done this once, lovely. Yeah. The guys behind you are hilarious. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Well, now they're keep an eye out. I'm watching them now. So am I. <laughs> well, now, thank you all very much for tuning in. Do please hit the thumbs up. I know this has been the first live in a long time. I've been not. Nice. I've been too busy. Mm -hmm. I couldn't really leave my staff up, up until like this, this week on their own. But you can sort of leave them on their own for a little bit now. We're getting there. Have I got all the Christmas shopping done? I've not done any. No. 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 Don't need to really, do you? No. All the needs for Christmas Day is a bottle of champagne. Christmas films. Someone mentioned earlier about my bottle of Bucks Fizz. Yeah, we've got a nice bottle of Bucks Fizz there. Um, I've got some crackers. I'm going to have cheese and crackers. I've got some mince pies. I've got some Christmas cake, Christmas pudding. Christmas cake. So I'm just eating and drinking all day. You're certainly going to hit that bottle of uh, Bucks Fizz. Oh, yeah. You've got to on Christmas, though, haven't you? It's the one day where it's acceptable to wake up to a glass of champagne. Nice. I will be hitting the Bucks Fizz for sure. Uh, great to see you both. Met you in Buddies in December, back in January for two months. How's it going, Alan? Uh, please say hello to Sue Davies as well. How's it going? Uh, what cider do you do in Buddies for a Somerset cider drinker? We don't do any Somerset ciders. We do Copper Big, Mixed Fruit on Draft, Copper Big, Sorbet Lime in the bottle. We do Strongbow cans and we do Magnus, Magnus bottles. bottles. Don't do any um, Somerset ciders though. Uh, going to Lanzarote this Christmas, very nice, Greg. Very Have nice. a lovely time, hopefully, a bit of sunshine as well. That was spot on, that. Just a nice size starter. Yeah. But we warmed up for the curry now. And this soup's lovely as well. And they'll, they'll already be working on the curry now as well, so I like the, the speed of it as well. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether we've got any porting. If we've got porting, we can, because we've got something KD. I think we have. Make I've a got cheeky porting. Bimto. Yeah, I think we might have. I've got to do a massive order tomorrow. So. Someone, someone asked Daddy if you can film a day in the life of running the bar and ordering and all that. Right, well then I'll do that tomorrow then. Because I've got to get up, get my hair done tomorrow. So I've washed it tonight ready. So it's nice and clean for So if Andrew charges the food up, I'll do a day in the life tomorrow. Get my hair done, go to Macro. Okay, I'll do that. Get my deliveries in. Have me meet with the Raja. They're coming in tomorrow. Don't know why, but they're coming in tomorrow. Oh, I ordered. I ordered all bottles of Corona. Did you know Corona comes in two sizes? The bottles are that big. I've never seen any other bottle size. Honestly, God, of Jose, good mom went. I was like, what you went? The bottles are small. And I was like, I've never seen them. They're that big, I've tiny. I've never seen a small bottle of Corona. Honest to God, yeah. Never. So I've got to ask him if I can send them back and get a refund for them because we can't sell them. Yeah, you'll be able to send them and just swap them out. Yeah, the only way I'm going to be able to sell, sell them is if I um, give two for one. I don't know. To give you two bottles at the same time. I've never time. seen a mini yeah. bottle of Corona, me. 
Uh, will you be in buddies later? Laura definitely will yes. be. I've still got to pop to the airport. I'm going to be doing a bit of a walk after this as well. So uh, our live stream isn't done after this, but I might try and pop in later on if I can. I uh, need to go. Thank you very much for tuning in, Craig. Really looking forward to visiting the bar with the kids. Great that you're catering for most tastes. Yeah, we've got alcohol free. We've got alcohol free cocktails, beers, soft drinks, all kinds. Yeah. Well, last time I dined in there, my Kia was served. That's a shame. It's been spot on so far. Spot on last time I came, that was spot on yeah. so far. I've got chicken See and what the curry comes. Sauce. Yeah. Spot on so far. Yeah. All good. This was one of our favourites last time yeah, when we, we did reviewed enjoy this. It, yeah. it is in our Tenery Value Restaurants playlist, so there is a whole playlist uh, that you can watch of all these value restaurants that do the three courses. How's the Starbucks coffee and buddies? It's not that strong. It's really mild. Good luck. It's really, really mild. Yeah. So somebody had an Americano before. She said, "Pacing like a bit stronger." I went. I just dragged the whole thing through that one because it was a double shot as well. She said, "But it's really, really smooth and mild that coffee." So maybe try an espresso. What beans you get? Got, just got Pike Place. So maybe get an espresso. Give it a go. I like it quite mild. Have it too strong and bouncy. Yeah. Uh, definitely try that restaurant you're in now when I come back over. We have done an edited vlog of this if you want to watch it as well. Uh, that'll be in the playlist, the Tenery Value Restaurants playlist. Yeah. We did an edited vlog, but main's on the way. Did they have a tiramisu, Laura? Not on they, the value. They, not on the value menu. Let me show you, the because they have got a normal menu as well. You don't have to have the value menu. I have made a lecce lecce. I made me and my staff member a lecce lecce today. You've got all kinds in here. You've got have got a full menu here, bread. All the different beef stuff, pork, pasta, chicken Kiev, half of those chicken, pastas, pizzas, seafood. There is loads. I'm trying to find the dessert menu. Full dessert menu. I think it's Are they normally separate? Yeah, you got loads in here. Fillet steak in a sauce of your choice, 19.95. Beef bad. stroganoff, 15 euros. Margarita pizza, 7.50. That's cheap. Good value. That's what we like to see. Um, any happy hour, uh, buddies? Not at the moment. Every hour is a happy hour. People always ask us that, and I'm like, every hour is a happy hour. Every hour is a happy yeah. hour. Uh, love the earrings, both looking very well. Uh, partner Thomas, literally on a countdown so they can go to the bar in September. Thank you very much. If you don't already, make sure you do follow the Buddies Bar Instagram as well. It does help us out. If you're on Instagram, do give us a follow. Uh, it's Bar Buddies Tenerife, I think it is. Yeah. And then follow us both on Instagram as well. If you don't already, make sure you join the Night Strider Tenerife fan group as well. A very friendly group in there. Tomorrow night, half past six, make sure you tune in. Big video for you. So make sure you watch that one. Uh, where are you eating? We're in Linares 4, Dawn and Melvin. Three course menu, 12.95. All done? Thank you very much. It's nice. Perfect. Bring on the mains. 1,280. <laughs> Do please hit the thumbs up as well, everyone. She's lovely. I think someone mentioned the lady in here. I think she yeah. runs it and everything. They, uh, she's uh, very happy. We'll pop in when we're there in Christmas. Thank you very much. I'm excited for Christmas. Are you? I've got a lot to do. But I'm excited. I've got Christmas Day off. We said we're doing a Christmas Eve uh, buffet in the bar, which is going to be complimentary. And we're going to be open from 12 in the afternoon. 12 in the afternoon, all right through Christmas Eve. A bit of Christmas songs on and all that. And then we're going to have uh, a New Year's Day little free complimentary buffet as well. And Boxing Day. And Boxing Day as well, there you go. So we're going to be open early on those days at 12. But right through Eve, to 1am. New Year's Eve, not going to open till 5. New Year's Eve opening a little bit later, okay. But nobody's going to be in there that early. No, everyone comes out a little bit later. Yeah. So yeah, we'll give the staff a little bit of a break and open a little bit later on that one. Yes. Uh, let's see. Is that the restaurant used to have the big guy playing the piano? I don't think so. 
That might be the one over the road with that El Romantico, maybe. Yeah, that is. Yeah, she's always smiling, very happy. It's nice to see. Nice to see. Yeah. Counting down till I'm over in March. See you there. Thank you very much, Sharon. Glad you have Christmas Day off. Uh, your boss is not that mean then. <laughs> My boss is alright. Let's be Sky. Let's pop out for a meal. Now we will be doing as well. Don't forget with all these bar the bar opening times as well. We will be doing our live streams here on the channel as well. So Christmas Day we will be doing a live. Um, I'll probably try and do one on Christmas Eve, uh, New Year's Eve as well. I'll be doing a live stream as well as going into the bar. So oh the streams God, will Eve still be going on. We will still be doing our live streams. Uh, a lot of people, it is a tricky time of year, tough time of year for some people. Some people are on their own and things like that. So we will still be here on the channel. Videos will be coming out and the live streams will uh, be going on as well. So make sure you do subscribe. You want to see a little bit of the a little bit of the fireworks and things on New Year's Eve. Bit of a, what, what's Hopefully. Tenerife like on Christmas Day? We'll be filming that. Hopefully we'll be able to see some fireworks on the um, roof terrace. I think we will from our little rooftop there. Pretty sure yeah. we will. Oh, it's got some bookings in for New Year's Eve as well. It's going to be busy. Yeah. It's going to be busy, but yeah, we will still be here on the channel. We'll be documenting it, live streaming it, of course. Yeah. Current temperature is still very nice, by the way. I'm just in my shirt, as you can oh, see. No, I'm chilly. It's, uh, are you? Really? Yeah. I've been running it's around all day, so now I'm sitting down. I'm chilly. It's lovely now. It's probably currently about 21 degrees. Nice. That's chilly for me. Comfortable. Fresh. Fresh. Uh, Ambient Lounge has closed, opened a new place in the Duke Shopping Centre. We'll add better. it to the list to, to blog Should it. Should do better there. Yeah, it'd be better there, I think. Uh, what phone are you using and are you happy with it? I'm thinking of upgrading mine. I don't, I don't even know what phone I've got. It's a phone that I got free with my Movie Star package. It's a Google phone. I couldn't tell you. I think it's a, is it a me or something they call it? I don't Try and find out. It's a Google phone. Couldn't tell you a single thing about it. You're happy with it, though, aren't you? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, doing the job. Does the job. Yeah, certainly well, does matters. the job. What is everyone up to, particularly? Because I always say this: Christmas Eve is better than Christmas Day. Do you reckon? What do you all do on Christmas Eve? I find Christmas Eve better than the day itself. Hi, Sian. Hi, Laura. Uh, when are you going back to Orlando? I'm not too sure, Leonardo. Don't know oh about that God. one. Who knows? But yeah, what do you do on Christmas Eve? Uh, have you any new cars on order? I've got two new cars arriving tomorrow. Fiat Panda Hybrids, number 56 and 57, arrive tomorrow. This year's going to be the first year in a long time. I'm working nights on Christmas Eve. In a long time. I need to get home quickly, though, because, you know, Santa needs to come. Well, the, the bar's got to be all done and wrapped up by 1am anyway, that's yeah. the licence. So the bar does have to be wrapped up by then. Oh, your boyfriend's cooking dinner for you. I see, I think Christmas Eve's got a bit of a real special feel to it. He's all excited finishes about work you, yeah. and gets home and... Yeah. Even better, there was one year when it snowed on Christmas Eve, I love that. Dad, you not yet to go get your nan? I think so, yeah, it was dark, Nightmare, dead cosy. Yeah. Dead cosy. I know, I used to love when I was a kid waking up on Christmas Day and it snowed. On Christmas Day, it was always nice. just made us so much more special. It yeah. Makes a difference. Um, uh, price in the bar very reasonable. You don't need a happy hour. I, I agree. Um, and don't forget, we're using proper quality ingredients in all of it. None of the cheap vodkas and things. It's all name brand stuff. Proper stuff that's going in. Yeah. Um, it, compared to the bars, all the bars in Lost Chris were completely on par. Oh yeah, so. we have made sure that we're not overpriced, underpriced. No, we're on par with with similar bars in Lost Cristiano, so yeah. we're, uh, we're happy with that. And uh, we know that the quality is good, the glasses you're drinking from aren't cheap, the furniture you're sitting on isn't cheap, we're playing by the book, playing by the rules, everything's insured, the staff are on full proper contracts, yeah. they get their holiday pay, everything like that. That makes a massive difference, so, yeah. Yeah. Laura Emmett, thank you very much for the super chat. Get a drink uh, off me and Anthony. Merry Christmas. Hope you both have an amazing one. Thank you very much, Laura. Thank you for the uh, super chat. We'll put that towards this little dinner, I think. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward to the mains now. So am I, I'm starving. I'm ready for a little chicken crack. All I've is a coffee and two vice cakes. Fish and a rice cake. <laughs> I'll two o'clock, add fish. Three o'clock, add fish and a rice cake. I was planning on going home and having just some peanut butter on toast for me tea, so this is nice. No, something proper. Uh, nice to see Laura tonight. Have time for a meal, yeah. It's, it's once it all evens out, the first month was always going to be a bit haywire. Yes. Always working everything out, staff coming and going. Um, yeah, just got to work everything else, get everything. It's going to take a while, a month or so, to get everything in a routine. Yeah. See what works, what doesn't, who fits in, who doesn't. Can you remind me of the watch you have on? So, this is the latest colour that I've got of the moon swatches. So, this one is the Mission to Pluto. This one. It's like a greeny grey. No, it's grey and maroon. Grey and maroon, it's There's nice. No green. Looks a bit greeny to me with my colour blind eyes, but it's nice. Um, so, yeah, luckily, managed to get it in the swatch shop in London. I refuse to pay over retail for them. But yeah, really happy with it. It's nice. Very nice. So it's an Amiga Moon swatch. Uh, where are you logged on? Like Laura, we are currently in Linares 4. We're having a value meal. Three courses, €12.95. Do I like Apple Watches? I do like the look of the new one, the newest, biggest one, but they're dead expensive. And I don't think you'd get the benefit from it. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I wouldn't want to wear it washing cars and stuff. And then, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Loved your Gatwick flight video. Yeah, if you want to see a travel day video to Tenerife, that went on yesterday. Uh, David Butler, great to see you both. David and Anne, I hope you're well. Uh, have a great Christmas, Anne and David. Thank you very much. I hope you're both well. And uh, sure you'll be over to Tenerife very soon as well. Thank you very much for the super chat. Well, somebody's asking me before about the Pebble Wilsons, are they next coming out? I need to message them, I think they will be over for New Year's, I think. I need to, I need to message them and find out. They're again yeah. very busy, Seb with his football, oh, yeah. um, Gaz with the business and everything, so uh, they're very, very busy as always. Do please hit the thumbs up, we've got 1,300 people tuned in, only 400 thumbs up, so do please hit the like. Uh, love the Pluto one, they do scratch easily, they do, yes, because it's... Um, it's not a glass face, it's a plastic face. However, you can get them polished. But yeah, I'm always careful with my watches anyway. Yeah. I'm always Very careful. careful. Uh, remember the cruise vlogs be going on the channel when I get a chance to edit them. Hopefully maybe one this week. I've got to get editing them. You have. Got to get editing them. Don't forget, anywhere you want to eat, over the Christmas period, make sure you make a reservation if you can. A lot of places are already full for Christmas Day. Oh, easy, yeah. Christmas Day would be massive. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the car hire, 25th of November, back again at the end of Feb. Thank you very much. Don't forget, if you do want to rent a car over here in Tenerife as well, that is what I do. Uh, that is the car rental, Samasti. Very busy with that at the moment. As I said, two new cars coming tomorrow. I'm excited for that. White, oh, you told me last week, didn't you? White and red. Red? Got to take whatever colour you can get. Oh. Red. Oh. Um, no, it's not, it does look nice though. Not my f Red's not my favourite colour, but you've got to take what you can get at the moment. Yeah. But yeah, hybrids. I wonder how they'll compare. That'd be nice. Um, Might be way better than a normal car. Could be. I think it's going to be nice. I'm looking forward to them. They'll arrive tomorrow, hopefully. They're on the ship. Well, they've been on the ship. I think they've arrived already. Oh, here oh, we go. Ships. Yes. Here we go. Uh, chicken curry. That's me. Thank you very much. Chicken curry. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. I'll show it. I'll get it on. Don't worry. That smells amazing. Look at that. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, it around. Here we go. So there's Laura's Mexican chicken. Yeah. My chicken curry, it's like a nice fruity Mediterranean curry, perfect size portion. We've got some extra chips, they're obviously extra. Yeah, spot on. Looks nice, that. No, can't wait to try mine. Uh, how many cars do you have now? We are going to be 57. We're going to have now 5 7. Busy. 
Very busy. This looks nice. Chicken's cooked here, fatly in the sauce. It's just a little bit spicy. It's your fruity Mediterranean type curry. It's not merely an Indian style curry for me. It's like fruity Mediterranean style. Nice. That sauce as well. This isn't going to last very long. This is mine. So what's on that? Like a tomato -y... tomatoey, tomatoey spicy Mexican sauce. Yeah, really nice. You know, I like a bit of spice. Yeah. Bit of Mexican. Yeah. I'll be robbing one or two of your chips, mine. Will you? Really hungry, yeah. Spot on. I think this is what I had last time. It was spot on last time. I'm a big fan of meals that do exactly what I say in the tin. It's job done. Yeah. It's not massive. It's good value. It's cooked fresh. It's all piping hot. I know. It's lovely. And the save is lovely. Nice ambiance as well. Yep, nice bit of music. It's got those proper old school candle um, oil lamp burners, haven't they? That you love. Proper holiday vibes. It doesn't feel like a week ago that was in uh, Liverpool Christmas Market right now. About a week ago? Mm -hmm. A week ago. Flown by. That has. Was it better last year with this mark or just the same? Um, pretty much the same. What ruined it this year was the weather. Just oh, got yeah. rained out. But um, well, it wouldn't be a British Christmas mark without getting rained out, would it? Mum. He's had one on slide, did he? Got him on a slide. Yep. With Dad on the snow slide. Did you enjoy it? Mm. To an extent. To an extent. Mm. Oh, way. Oh, that's lovely. I know. My curry's gone already. I know mine isn't last long either. You're right, the chips are nice to mop up the curry sauce with. Yeah. They're not like dirty and greasy, are they? No. Nice and fresh. So it's Linares 4 is where we are, a lot of people are asking that. Okay. Gorgeous, Perfect. thank you very thank much. You. Spot on. Very nice, that. So it's good to see it's the same as it was when we came a couple of years ago. Still the same great food. Mm -hmm. Great service. Can't argue with that price. Was absolutely stunning. That was. But it destroyed that thing here. That was lovely. That really hit the spot. Good. Really hit the spot. And you'll get a nice creme caramel for dessert. Yeah, looking forward to that as well. And then we're going to be having a little bit of a walk, I think, everyone. If you want me to stay on and do a bit of a walk, Laura's got to pop back to the bar. But, but this has been a nice break, though. Need another haircut, see? This is why I get it done dead short, because it grows dead quick. So I didn't get it as short last time. I only had this done about a week and a half ago. Yeah. And now look, it looks like it needs doing again. That's why I go so short yeah. normally. Otherwise, it just doesn't last. So 
So the cheapest, where, where in the UK could you get a three course menu for a tenner? I don't even think that's physically possible in the UK. Three course menu for a tenner. Start a main dessert. Weatherspoons, do they do a meal deal? No, I'll have that too. Weatherspoons is all microwave meals. I mean, it's lovely. I think Weatherspoons is quite cheap, but I don't think, that, I don't think they do it that cheap. So, there is still value in Tenerife. I love you that. Do you get a haircut every week? No, normally once every four weeks. But I didn't get it cut as short last time because I was going to the UK. And now it looks like it needs doing again. Not possible in Ireland. Oh, no, we'll be in Ireland Come on everyone, can you get three course menu for like even 15 quid only 15 quid three course menus in the UK that was lovely yeah I enjoyed mine all gone Demolished. <laughs> Spot on that. Spot on. Bring on the dessert. A little creme caramel. And that'll be done that. I won't be I don't feel too full. Spot on. Very nice. There, when are mum and dad coming back? I'm not too sure. Maybe maybe February time. Hard to get two courses for 15 quid. I think so. You wouldn't get that. I'm going to get to do the uh, desserts. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Thank you. Oh, very nice. Oh, that was gorgeous. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you very much. Okay. Try the desserts now. Creme caramel. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Only because Laura's got to get back to work. That's all. I've got a jammy space, and this is just across the road. Look at you. I'm right back down by Las Vistas speak, see? I think you lift down. Um, I'm going to, might carry on, do a bit of a walk. Let me know if you think we should. Should we carry on, do a bit of a walk around Las uh, Americas? Or should we round it off after this? Let me know. We've done 70 minutes already. Oh Please hit the thumbs up, though. I'd love to get a 1,000 thumbs up again. We haven't done that on a live stream for ages. Yeah. We haven't hit a 1,000 thumbs up on a live stream for ages so do please hit the thumbs up um, we had a two course what's that two course indian last saturday 30 euros is that 30 euros each or for both here i reckon that'll be for both is it the lady behind you is a diamond the staff are lovely spot on uh, yes please to a walk Let's see what i can do i mean i've got to walk all the way back to las vistas anyway so we could go with Round that way, which is so very happy. Uh, worried Laura's gonna have to run back now. Now Laura's driven down. Laura's driven down. I had to walk up the hill to get to ours, and that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, round it off your visit tonight. No, I'm not uh, not too busy. I've got a couple of bits to do, but if we want to do a walk, we will do a walk. If you're gonna stay tuned in, we will uh, stride on, yeah. as they say. Stride on. There you go, everyone wants to do a walk. Yeah, I might do a little bit of a walk after this. Walk off my nice uh, sp Good call coming here. It was a last minute decision. I thought, where could we go? Cheap, three courses. Everyone loves these. Everyone's always asking me, is it expensive now in restaurants? Some of them have gone up in price. They certainly have. When you consider some places are charging nine euros for a soup and you can have a three course dinner for 12 95 it's, it's a big contrast there. There is quite a few of these restaurants around. Uh, this one, Linares 4, this is round the corner from Savoy. They're also very good as well. Savoy, yeah. Italy, across the road. They do, do a fantastic one as well. So, I can't complain. have got plenty of cheap meals, haven't you? Great value meals. Great value. Considering it's hot and fresh as well, it's not just served off a buffet. Yeah. 
Nice. That was lovely. So until people are asking where we are, if people are just tuning in, this one here, Linnea's Four. I'm not making Christmas dinner this year, too busy. Last year I made it on Christmas Eve, didn't I? Yeah, you did, yeah. Christmas Eve roast. This year yeah. I just basically haven't got the time to do anything other than work. Right, so yeah. Busy, busy. But the first month, first couple of months of a business are the hardest. A lot of people will know that. It's the, when you've got to put in the most graft, you've got to work out the most things, you've got to work out what works, what doesn't. It's uh, the first couple of months, probably the first six months really, yeah. are the hardest. However, today I did get, managed to find small bottles, so by the glass, Venus Salt, San Val, Torres de Casta and Sangre de Toro. Not cheap though, for a small bottle. No. I think it's best to get a big bottle. Yeah, no. but I got those in today, so if you don't like Jack Rabbit, you can have those instead. I like to try and save the wines with the little bottles rather than pour in a from a big well, bottle of glass. Some just get over poured, some just get under poured. Yeah, it's nice and to just it, give a nice bottle, yeah, but the bottle's fresh and you open it exactly, yourself and, and you know how long the wine's been days, open for. It's already gone bad. Yeah, you know how so. long the wine's been open for and all that. Yeah. So little things like that are the difference. You might get it slightly cheaper somewhere, but it won't be the little individual bottle. It's just how we want to do things. Yeah. It's all relative, really. Um, you know, I, I do. For me, I prefer the little bottles of wine. I yeah. don't drink wine, but if I was getting them, I'd You'd, prefer a little yeah. bottle. If you're going to just have a glass, you prefer a little bottle, yeah. Yeah, a little fresh bottle, open it myself, job done. Uh, do please keep hitting that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new as well. Anyone, anyone new to the channel this week, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Put a few vlogs up this week as well. Make sure you go and watch them. A lot of people are saying, where's all the vlogs, where's all the vlogs? I've put quite a few out, so make sure you do go and check them out. Uh, can you please live stream the King's Day Parade? I will try. We did that last year as well. That's on the 6th, is it? Yep. Yeah. Uh, went to Buddy's tonight. To Great Laura Collada. There you go. I'm, not, I'm going to add that new one. I'm craving that. I might come in for one later. I'm craving that one he made. Jose just went rogue. <laughs> and, he does. Um, he just goes rogue, Jose. He was like, let me make you this. Do you like this? Do you like that? Do you like this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he made it. It's gorgeous. Yeah. But it's got an energy drink in it. It's not. It's, it's it's got a lot of calories and a lot of caffeine in, but it is nice. It's beautiful. You said it yeah. tastes even nice. Use a monster rather than Red Bull. When it already tastes like monster. Yeah, no, I like it with just the, yeah. just the Red Bull can is nice. Lovely, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a naughty one. That a few of them, you'd be you'd be you'd be bouncing. You'd yeah. be in a cab down Veronica's. Back in the day, I was a vodka Red Bull gal, galley, girly, gal. That was me. I was. Running around the bars, dancing all night on my vodka red bulls. And back in the day, you used to be able to get food for a tenner. Do vodka red bulls for a tenner. Couldn't do it. Disarano, it's got Disarano, Midori, uh, an energy drink, something else. I think vodka. I think vodka. Um, we have got, no, we've got an ours in the bar now, Disarano Velvet. So it's like a Bailey's, but the Serrano's based on the Bailey's. So Made by like, De Serrano, yeah? Yeah, De Serrano Velvet. Yeah. Old proper De Serrano as well, none of the, the cheap coffee stuff. Proper De Serrano. You can, you can taste the difference. Like we went into a bar for the, for the month, and the second I smelled my drink, I said, that's cheap. I did not cut the goods up, and he said, no, remember? Yeah, when I asked if they got De Serrano, and they only had the like fake version. And it tastes awful. Never had a Red Bull Dawn. You don't need have one. one. If you've never had one, you don't need one. People only drink Red Bull because they need it. You might like it, Dawn. You might like it a bit too. I much. challenge you to try one. Do you sell full size bottles of wine? Yeah. We do, yeah. And um, we've got a couple of different ones in. We've got a lovely one um, that you haven't tried yet after you've tried win. Canarian one? Yeah. Good. Canarian wine. And then tomorrow I've got to go to Macro. So I'll get some Bean Sol San Val and then some other little bottles. Okay. So yeah, bottles, small bottles, big bottles, bottles of carver, bottles of champagne. Yeah, I need to get bottles of champagne. Yeah, got to be done. Uh, how is the dog? He's all good. He's all good. He had a nice little week off last week. He went off to, uh, he actually stayed with someone for a few days and then was at ours as well with the dog sitter. He enjoyed that. He yeah, meets up it. with some other dogs and stuff. He loves it, loves it. He doesn't even say bye to us when he goes, does he? No. Oh, he's straight in. He's all over the all over the woman and like, gone. Straight in away. Gone. Yeah, straight away. He loves it. You do white symptoms, Al, yeah. Um, 
uh, Jack Rabbit is one of the better value wines. A lot of people like the Jack Everyone, Rabbit, especially the Brits. We, we were told as soon as we got the bar, we could get Jack Rabbit in. Yeah. And we've only had one complaint so far for not having anything else small. Yeah, Jack yeah. Rabbit sells very well. Uh, it is full of sugar dawn. You can get a sugar free one though. You can get a sugar free one. one uh, Red Bull. Oh, yeah, you can get sugar free. You can get sugar free. Don't make, blame me when you're bouncing down the runway, Dawn. <laughs> uh, when is the next part of uh, oh, This Is Your yeah. Life video? I've even started it. I haven't even started it. No, you need it. to do that. No, I've got to get that done. I've got to get that done. Looking forward to me crown caramel now. Look close to my ice cream. Oh, crown caramel. <laughs> is, if there is one. Thank you. If there's one thing for us to do while we are there, what would it be? Hey, miss my chat. Please say hi to Hubby having a replacement knee operation. Best of luck with that. If there's one thing oh, to do, Sadie. probably would be. Uh, yeah. Think so, uh, Tady or Cyan Park, maybe. Cyan Park's not for everyone. Tady's more for everyone. Yeah. Might have to be, uh, yeah. True. True. Yeah, anyone can go to Tady. Uh, went to Buddy's bar earlier, but was too scared to say hello. You should have said hello. How could you be too, too scared? Got loads of subscribers in there all saying hello. Yeah. A lot of the stuff that's what I like about it when I go in, all subscribers are sat with each other chatting and everything. Yeah, it's everyone's great. dead friendly, yeah. Stargazing's a good one. There's so many things, isn't there? There's a boat trip, whale and dolphin trips, there's all kinds. Yeah. Absolutely all kinds. Yes, we do sell baby Guinness. Sell a little baby Guinness. Mm -hmm. I like a baby yeah. Guinness. Here we go. Here's your ice cream, Laura. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, this is a proper old school one this now oh yeah vanilla and strawberry love it here you go oh. creme caramel that's me happy talk is out of sync just bear with me let me reset it <laughs> we're back in sync now let me know fingers crossed hopefully we're back in sync A little creme caramel I love a creme caramel. Takes said me it, back to childhood. I said I had gluten in it, so I didn't get it. it. Takes me back to childhood, that. I know. It's certainly hit the spot. Nice size as well, isn't it? Mm. It is nice. Mm. We don't have been trying to get archers for ages. I can't get it. I put it on a list that said specifically archers. But it's I've hard to get old of. as well, can't see it. Yeah. But then Tony said last year, remember, they don't do arches anymore. Gone. Gone. Lovely that. Spot on. Lovely. There Job done. I mean, it's only one of the little things out of a pot, but that's fine by me. Spot on. It's a to say it, isn't it? Spot on. Uh, nice, clear, stable picture. That's because we're staying still, though, John. It's when we start moving around that it seems to struggle a little bit. Because we're just staying still, it works fine. Once we start moving and going between buildings is when it starts to break up a little bit. But uh, thank you very much. Hit the thumbs up. I am going to get the bill. We'll find out exactly what the bill was. We've had two Cokes. And we did get the extra chips on top as well, don't forget. That's on top of the uh, 12.95. Yeah. Oh, that was nice, that. Oh, those did their desserts look good as well, don't they? They yeah. look good, then. They've gone for desserts. They're not on the three-course menu. They're having a proper meal with a wine. Can we have the bill, please? La Quinta. La Quinta, por favor. La Quinta. Thank you very much. How many fans? La Quinta. How, how many fans? Subscribers, 70,000. Yeah, lo lots, lots of people will be saying hello to you. Good. Thank you. On the subscribers, 70,000. Yeah. 
Oh, Here you go. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so yes, I suppose you could do guess the bill. You can do guess the bill. Two twelve ninety fives, a chips, and two big cokes as well. Um, we're not absolutely spot on as all as same as last time. It was gorgeous last time we came. Yeah. And uh, nice again. Tady, is it worth the roof down on the T Rock? In the winter time, you probably would find oh, no. it a little bit cold. In the summertime, yes, but I mean, the, the T Rock is rented non stop. There you go, you're on. You've got 1,230 people watching. There you go. Staff in here are fantastic, all very friendly. A lot of, you go in a lot of places, they all hide away. Spot on in here, all dead friendly. Um, but yeah, the T Rock, I could do with getting a second soft top, really, because it's permanently out all the time. Never see that car now. And then when you first got it, it didn't really go off that much, did it? It took time for people to sort of find out we had it. Yeah. Now people know. I never see it. You like the T-Rock as well, don't you? T-Rock's nice. I'm going to go for 35 euros. 35, you reckon? Yeah. So you'd go... Da, 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 don't forget, some place had tax on top as well, don't they? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for 33. Oh. I'm going to go for 33. 33 I'm going for. Guess the bill. It's coming up. We'll get this paid. We'll let Laura get back to work. Yeah. I'll carry on doing a little bit of a walk with you all. And that we will stride on. Do please hit the thumbs up though if you want me to carry on. Ooh, get a little shot as well. Oh, shot. We're on the shots now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. It's okay with card or you want cash? Yes. Ooh, some, some of you got it pretty spot on here. Great value that. So two Coke Zeros. They were two ninety five each. Uh, two three course menus at twelve ninety five each, and the chips were three euros. So the total uh, came to thirty four euros eighty. Then add the Ijikon. So the total was thirty seven twenty four. I was out by two quid. Yeah. Lunar is four. Yes. Lunar is four. I know. I've been showing him. I've been Lunar telling him. He's reminding us the name Lunar is four. There you go. Uh, we're in Las Americas as well. Just wait for the car machine. Pay our bill. Have got any? No. It should all be fine and we uh, Have you by any chance got a couple of euro coins? Yes, some I've coins to leave a tip for the lovely coins. ladies. Enjoyed that. If you've been here before, let me know. If you haven't, make sure you do. For a little three course menu, spot on. Yeah, that's fine. Lovely that. That hit the spot. That's Did. setting me up for the whole um, night, that is now. I don't feel ill. I don't feel too full. I'm going for it. Someone was talking about um, arches, weren't they? Peach snaps, isn't it? Cocktail at the bar, you crack it. What? Cocktail at the bar, you crack it. Yeah. There you go. Job there done. Go. What dessert did you go for there? Looks nice, that. Tiramisu, that looked good in the jar, yeah. 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 Nice little carver, yeah. Nice. Uh, tiramisu looked lovely. Yeah, in a little jar there, that yeah. tiramisu, proper fresh. Looked nice, that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the same as you. Well done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Uh, Got to be a well done steak. Pay our bill. It's nice in here, yeah. Yeah, good. Spot on. Twenty nine euro steak and wine. Not bad, is it? No. Not bad. Can I have the card machine, please? Okay. Thank you. Right. Get myself set and ready. And now I've got to go back to where Amy living. Hi. Right. Get cracking. Yeah, I'll be working till half one. Okay. I'm going with this one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I find my car, please? Yeah. I'm going with that. Okay. 
That was lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, I already yeah. I filmed here before, once before, about a year and a half ago. I did a video on here already. And it was just as nice as last time. Thank you very much. Do you want coffee? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Yes, Thank you very you. much. Gracias. Thank you. Open Lovely stuff. In the okay. Right. Oh. Take it, jacket. Yep. Let me just pop my jacket back on. Have you noticed what song it is, Laura? I was about yeah. to say that then. The, I've never heard the, the yodeling kid song in it. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Oh. Yeah, See you again. Right. Have a lovely Take night. Care. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely as always. Thank you. So just to show you where we were, it was this one here, Linares Fall, just there. So, so down there to the right, you would lead to uh, Veronica's. And I'm going to head on out. Right. Go back to work. Don't leave this up for too long. So and I see you a little bit later on. Make sure you follow Laura at uh, Buddies on the Instagram yeah. and everything. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest okay. of your shift. Go. Stride on. <laughs> there you go, that's Laura's off. Good that she could join us for dinner. <clears throat> Right, let's go for a little bit of a walk then. I enjoyed that. As I say, you don't come out feeling all full and stodgy. It's just the right amount of food, that. Hi, are you okay? Yeah. Having a good time? Yeah. And you can't go wrong for that price, can you? Can't go wrong. Right, so I think we'll go left, because that's sort of heading towards the car for me as well at the same time. As you can see, it's got a little bit busier now out and about on the streets since we started. We have been on for 90 minutes now. It's good to be on, nice little long stream. Signals holding up nicely as well. So let's have a little wander through Las Americas then, see what's happening. I presume the United Liverpool game finished nil-nil. In my opinion, I mean, people will say this because I'm an Everton fan, but I think it's the most overhyped game every single season, that game. I just don't see the big hype in it anymore. I can see the hype when they were both challenging for the titles and stuff, but I just don't see the hype in that game anymore. All that build-up just for a nil-nil. Well, it's definitely busy out and about on the streets now, isn't it? Definitely busier. So in terms of value restaurants, that's the other one that I would re recommend coming up on the right hand side. Savoy, done a video on that, it's on the channel. That's nice, that's got a Chinese menu as well. So you can have three course of Chinese, you can mix and match, you can have a Chinese main with a you know a garlic bread starter and things like that. So we'll ask you all now, do you want me to go right and back down onto the beachfront? Or do you want me to continue straight and head onto the Golden Mile? What would you prefer? Down onto the beachfront or should we stay on these back streets here towards the Golden Mile? Let me know. seeing people around walking see now this is why i brought my little jacket because it has gone a little bit cooler now definitely yet need a little little layer on for me once the sun goes down it does drop down by a few degrees mary says beachfront Leeds says back streets gotta make a decision golden mile beachfront beachfront Okay, I think we'll carry on straight. We did do the beachfront on the way. We'll carry on straight and we will go along the Golden Mile, which should have a real atmosphere now. You're going to have all the Christmas lights on and stuff. I'll get to show you the H10 all lit up as well if we go straight on. Don't forget, everyone, if you've just tuned in, tomorrow night at half six, very important video. Do make sure you check it out. 
going up here on the channel. It's funny how an hour, there you go, Tandoori Hut's back open now in Las Americas after it's sort of refurb, back open, good to see. But yeah, it's crazy how a difference an hour makes in terms of the amount of people out and about on the streets. Go to the area where all the lights are, please, the safe way. We're going to head on to the Golden Mile, which is quite Christmassy. Well, just <clears throat> uh, haven't been in Dado's for a while. I haven't, actually. Haven't been in there for a while. I do like the chicken tenders in there are nice. But I haven't been in for a little while. I like the pink lemonade in there, too. Uh, no mods tonight, there are mods on, they're just maybe in the background, we always have moderators on. So, they might just not be uh, commenting with the spanners, but there's always people in the background. Just bear with me, because I've got a big, I think I've got a stone in my shoe. Do my head in, here we go. Done. There you go, there's that nice car again. I get some Christmas feels now. Uh, does your dad rent out his apartments? He does. They're both very booked up, but um, he does rent them out on holiday. Like, yep. Do like this reception with the big tree outside. <clears throat> that wouldn't fancy parallel parking that. A very long derrick. Look at that, that's a lovely looking reception, isn't it? <clears throat> very Christmassy. All right, let's get ourselves onto the Gold Mile then, Safari Centre, the fountain, light show. Your busy little vibe now, I think. Taxis as well at the moment, pretty available. Christmas time, they'll be crazy busy, but at the moment, so it's quite easy to get a taxi but the two weeks over Christmas I think we will have that shortage again A nice side view of the Christmas lights on that one. How's it going, John? Hey, when are your new hybrid cars getting delivered? They are coming tomorrow. I believe they're already on the island now, so it should be tomorrow. Whether it'll be morning or afternoon, I'm not too sure. Yeah, looking forward to that. Can you say hello to Harvey, who's got his driving test on Thursday? Best of luck. Harvey, you'll be fine. Stay nice and calm. I'm sure you'll smash it.
Oh yeah. So if any of you have done anything interesting this weekend, do let me know. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Probably a lot of people finishing work this week. If you're closed over Christmas and you're off over Christmas, lucky you. Hi from Finland, how's it going Finland? Uh, interesting to see if you find them different to the rest of the fleet. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I don't know. I don't think we'll really notice the difference, but we'll see. I think hybrids are about where Tenerife is at at the moment. I wouldn't get an electric car over here, personally. Especially to rent out. There just isn't enough places to charge them. So I think hybrid is about right. Fantastic week for me. Rangers got through to the next stage of Europa and just won the Viaplay Cup. There you go. Good little week for you, Danny. Moving house on Wednesday, then Christmas. May need a few, may need a few of the monster uh, cocktails and buddies. Keep you going, they will. There goes Tree Man somewhere. I think that's Tree Man there just uh, packing up or getting ready to uh, come out. There's his little YouTube setup. Can watch that live. Look how busy it is now compared to earlier. If any of you've been on the whole time, you watch me walk down here at the start of the stream. Neil will be there on Tuesday, fantastic. Have a little look at the fountain area. Hello from us in the dark and just the Isle of Man. Isle of Man, how's it going? Can't wait to get back to Tenerife in October. How's it going, Tom? I hope you're well. Coming out on Wednesday. Hope to see you out and about. If not in buddies, you will see me around, Linda. Have a little look at the fountain and the Christmas tree just here in front of Hard Rock. Can you say hello to my wife Susan who has gone to see my mother-in-law? Uh, she is not well, hoping we are over in May. How's it going David? I hope uh, everything's okay Susan as well. This is bigger size, this is a uh, medium. Look at that, love that tree. Hi, are you okay? Good, thanks to you. Good man, how's your, how's your trip? Yeah, all good. How all was, good. Uh, UK? Cold. Is it cold? Yeah. So we've got something to look forward to. Yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll enjoy you that. Alive? Yeah, alive at the moment, yeah. I was just doing a video today, so. Yeah. Got some goodies, uh, goodies for the missus. Oh, nice. So I was doing a 50 euro Looky Looky Men challenge. Right. See how much I can buy for 50 euro. How far did you get? Did you get a lot of stuff or not? I ended up spending 60 euro. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't haggle yeah, hard enough? No, I didn't really, really haggle with you. They always said, and then they gave me the bracelet again. Oh, not the oh, bracelet thing the again. Well, oh, jeez. So. Yeah, all good. Thank you very much. Good. I'm glad. All Somebody good. asked me today, I saw someone today that says, they want 
a scooter and asked me if you had uh, mobility access and I said, yeah, he's got Yeah, he got the ramp access. there, yeah. So you can hear the ramp and all that for yeah. the people. So Thank you very much. Yeah. Try not to spend any more. Oh, <laughs> See you later. So yeah, you mentioned the bracelets there. That is again in tomorrow's video. Do make sure you watch it half past six. This bracelet scam thing that's going on. Crazy. But as I was saying, love this tree and that view. Harry's not open tonight, which is unusual. It might be their staff night out though. Possibly. There's some signs up there. I reckon it's probably their staff night out. Yeah, I love that view. Stunning. Uh, dental operation work now healing. Fantastic, Ian. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be able to get some Christmas dinner. Fingers crossed. A few more weeks to uh, continue the healing. I hope you do. Nice. Very nice. Well, I think I might round it off just here. I'm going to walk back to the car, get myself in. And I've got a few other little bits to do. I've got to pop to the office yet and everything. But so thank you all very much for watching. Do please hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as well. If you're on your way over for Christmas, have a wonderful time. Uh, even if you're staying at home, have a wonderful time. We will be around with live streams, various videos. Tomorrow, half six, look out for that one. Bit of a warning for you all. But uh, thank you all very much. And uh, stride on. Definitely check out Linnea's 4 for dinner. Spot on that. Really enjoyed it. But uh, that's it from me. Stride on.